Welcome back. We are back with another Packers theme team mutt season. Game three, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we won our first two games. We're two and zero. Unfortunately, the first game I did record and didn't hook up the mic, so you couldn't hear any of it. So my apologies on that. Our second game was really good though. Offense was abysmal. We're hoping to be better today. Uh, hopefully, we can get to three and zero and get one step closer to the playoffs. Now you're probably wondering why is my hair about five inches shorter. I got a haircut. I didn't ask for five inches shorter. I asked for one. Um, and she asked, I was had my head down. I woke up. She's like, is this good? I was like, I don't think you could glue it back on. So I'm going to say yes, because if we go any further, I'm going to be bald. But we're putting that behind us. We're putting the trauma of the haircut behind us. And we are going to hopefully win in pretty convincing fashion. Because our last two games, you know, including the Chargers franchise, have not been pretty. So we're hoping to make very little mistakes, but I'm not good at Madden. So working on it, 100% working on it, but we'll just get right into this and hopefully we can take this to 3-0. and And I got a spin for today, a literal spin, so to make this a little more interesting. All right, so the new addition that we're having, we'll see how this goes, is I can add one player to the team, but if I lose this challenge... I can't keep the player. I can lose the game and finish the challenge and get the player. But if I don't, if I win the game and lose the challenge, I don't get to keep the player. So it does not matter if I win or lose the game, but if I win the challenge, I get to keep the player. This player is going to be Keyshawn Nixon. Obviously using the Packers theme team, I got to keep adding Packers players. Now, Keyshawn Nixon is not the greatest player out there. Unfortunately, as you can see, I only have 17,000 coins, and that's not going to get me anything. But Keyshawn is what we need. Like I said last episode, we have Charles Woodson, who's an 85 overall at corner. We got an upgrade with Keyshawn Nixon. Now, if you think we have an upgrade with kick returns and punt returns, Madden doesn't think so. Although this guy is the all-pro kick returner, it says he's a 74 overall at kick returner. I didn't care. I still put him at kick returner. We're going to see how that goes. But so this is the card that we have this week. But if I don't win the challenge, which we'll see what it is here soon, I don't get to keep him. He's off the team. Charles Woodson's back in. So and to determine our challenge, they're a little easy for now. We'll see how this goes. But we have the wheel. So I'll spin the wheel here and we'll see what we get. It's go for two every extra point. So I cannot kick an extra point. If it's 17 to 17, I just scored a touchdown, time has expired, and I kick a few or extra point to win it, I can't do it. I've got to go for two. Or I could lose the challenge and lose Keyshawn Nixon. That's not going to happen. We're going for two every time. All right, here we go. He, he has a very good top three. All three are limited cards. Oh, man. It's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a fun game. I had to restart the game because Madden servers couldn't take me trying to get in an online game. But we're, we're, we're here now, and we're about to get our butts kicked, it looks like. But as long as we go for two on every single two-point conversion, we get to keep Keyshawn Nixon. Like I said, I know that's a little underwhelming of a card. But at some point, we will be able to get some 94s, 95s. There's a 94 Romeo Dobbs that I really really want to get on this team because my receivers are not overly that great so that is our that's our main target also getting this Ray niche key an upgrade would be very good as well on the first play we're gonna bottle him I don't know what Nitschke's doing but we bottled him first down we stop him it's a good start and now he's probably switching to the pass game so we are uh we're not in good shape for this he, his team is good. He's got the 94 Josh. I think 95 Josh Allen at quarterback. Just whiffed on a hit stick. But we got third down, and he's going into hurry up. We'll switch to a cover three. I think I think we could stop a cover three. And nope, he's one of these guys. Keyshawn Nixon knocks him out. Yeah, I, it's gonna be it's going to be a long game playing a guy like this. But, I mean, it's smart. It's smart. If he's going to throw underneath, I'm going to end up giving the deep ball. And he's got the guys to, you know, punish me for that. So that's why this guy is not fun to play because he's a smart player. 
off the edge. Keyshawn Nixon with a sack. Second and 17. We are backing the boys up. We're not giving up any big pass. He can hit an underneath pass, but I am not giving up a bomb. I'm giving up a bomb. He's got double me. I didn't even realize. I left. I left Yair out there to die. <laughs> we made such a good play. And immediately we just, we lose it. So, yeah, he's still got double me for two more plays. Or one more, maybe. I don't know if I'm doing the math wrong. And, yep, there's the RPO. But we kind of bottled it. I mean, the defense is playing good. The only issue was I'm an idiot and I left Jair out there to die. Which is my fault. That is 100% my fault. Good defense for this. He still gets a pretty good gain. Third and four. I think I'm going to stick with the Tampa 2, depending on what he comes out in. I think, yeah, I think that that's the route to go. And I'm going to put Montez Sweat on a uh, QB spy. Jair gets to stop. Fourth and one. He's going to hurry up. I want, I'm, I think it's a run. Oh, it isn't. I got guys underneath. And we can't bottle up the middle. I couldn't get back enough. And there's just too many people across the middle. Heck of a play. Down 7 nothing to start. Not not a good start. All right, here's the Keyshawn Nixon. We're just going to let it go out. Or fair catch it, whatever. That's just too deep to really worry about. It is not a good start, especially seeing his defense is as, as crazy as it was. Uh, his top three had Nick Bosa and Jair Alexander, both limited cards. Uh, so we'll see. He's got inside stuff on Vita Vea. Vita Vea is going to be a tough one. But, I mean, otherwise, he doesn't really have, like, anybody I'm too afraid about. And we just get off our block. If he held that block, I think we could have got a pretty good big gain but he didn't. This is a cover three. I, I know... No, it isn't. What a throw. Jordan Love with pressure in his face hits him. That was free fire. I thought that was a, uh, a nickel. Nickel cover three, and I completely misread it. But a heck of a throw by Love. We're not used to that. We're not used to the nice throws. We're going to try a stretch here. And we pick up a block. Can we get the inside? No, we can't. Get another yard. I just, I don't know how to kind of attack this. It's tough. We'll see if... We'll double on Vita Vea because he doesn't have inside stuff. We'll go to the end of the first, actually. 7 nothing at the end of one. I'm not feeling too confident about our chances to win this game, but we're, we're going to try. Try not to make any stupid plays, and we'll see. I think the issue is if I get backed up on third down. So I'm going to try to try to run plays like this where I can hit short passes, and or I can just take off with Love. Love gets knocked out, third and one. I, as long as I'm not like backed up super far on third downs and even fourth downs, I'll be fine. I just, I can't get backed up as we get another first down. Just got to play it smart. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to bomb this guy. He can bomb me, but I'm not going to be able to bomb him. Um, which means I can't run that. But we got, he's playing the short underneath passes. You better believe I'm playing them too. That's the only way I'm going to win this game. I th Oh boy. If we can get this off. We weren't able to get it off in the time that I wanted, but Kelsey is wide open over the middle. We get another first down. We're moving the ball pretty well on this guy, and our defense was not that bad either. It was just the one play we got bombed deep on the, the double me, uh, Calvin Johnson. And even then, five yards on the inside run. I'm going to try to hit Jones on this, uh, this route out of the backfield. It's you. And past Maddens, it's been open. I've never actually used it in this Madden. I may have, but I, I just don't remember. So, I mean, we are off to a really great start. He's playing really far back coverage. 
And he was probably there. I'm just going to get rid of it. He was probably open. I just missed him. So we got third and decent length here. We'll see if, if he presses up. I think we're going with this. I think we're rolling with it. And a good play call. If he can get the juke, he could go. He's down at the eight. And look how much time we've taken off this clock, too. He's going to have a really tough time being able to score before halftime. We've just chewed this clock up. I haven't meant to do it, but we've done it. I'm going to double Vita Vea. Hopefully he doesn't realize he does. We lose a couple yards. That's okay. That's okay. We're doing very well right now. I'm not upset at all. I'll take a field goal too. I think I might be able to hit Dobbs. No Dobbs, but Randy's open and then runs backwards. Realistic. Very realistic. Um, yeah, I think... Try hitting Gronk, or not Gronk, Kelsey. Kelsey's in for the touchdown. And now we got to go for two. I almost forgot, and I almost kicked the extra point. It didn't click until, yeah, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be a tough one. But I'm going to run, I'm going to run verticals. And I want the zig from Kelsey. And I'm going to put him on a slant. We're cooking up a whole lot of nothing right now, but we're going to try it. We definitely had guys open, but we didn't get any of them. But we don't need it. Jordan Love gets a two-point conversion. We are, we're are we winning this game right now. And we get the ball out of halftime, too. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I think we actually have a chance to win. We move that ball really well. Now Pacheco on the return. And he goes out of bounds. I don't, I don't know if he's scared or what, but I would have probably tried taking that upfield with with Pacheco. Pacheco could have taken my entire team's ankles and scored a touchdown, but he didn't even try. And see, that is not good when you're trying to stop them <laughs> to give up that. But we'll, we'll try man. I haven't really tried man this game uh, with, uh, with Keyshawn. Keyshawn did get the big sack to start out the game. And Jair might be able to pick that. Nope. I can't. I got to switch that. I really got to switch that. We're going to try to switch. We'll do by overall because I think that'll put... Uh, I mean, that should put Rizul Douglas on Calvin Johnson, and that's a better height matchup. Rizul's a big cornerback, and we need, we need height on Calvin. Calvin's got double me now, so we can't really do anything with that but we're gonna send Nitschke or not Nitschke Hendricks Hendricks keeps him in bounds he called a timeout I was about to but he calls the timeout and then I think I really don't know what to do here I think he's uh he's really dominated this drive <laughs> the the there was very optimistic thinking when I thought that oh picked Parsons with the interception he's got some room and he can't get away. That's big. That's really big. I'm probably taking this to halftime. I was just saying, too, how he has dominated this drive. And Parsons, of all people, gets the interception. Heck of a user play by me. Oh, just this is the best user in the game. Definitely not. But we like that. We really like that. And Jones has some room. We're going to call a timeout. I, I'm not going anything other than run plays I'm afraid to throw an interception and give up points but if we could score out of halftime he's still in a dime coverage I'm taking it to the side he's in a dime coverage he's not at all prepared for the run with that I mean we'll see if I can get anything big off of this too but I think the only way I would pass the ball is if I could get up to the 40 on this play which is close I'll call timeout. I'll call timeout. We got another timeout. Um, I don't know. Nothing stupid. See, he's in prevent. If I could get up to the 50 in five seconds and then go down, then I'm going to do that. Worth a 45. I don't know. Do I take a risk? Do I take a risk? I'm, I'm not. 
I'm not. It, we're, we're in a very good place right now. It would be stupid of me to screw that up. We'll just stat pad a little bit for Aaron. See if he could have taken it anywhere. And we're going to take it to halftime, and we got the lead. Worst case scenario, too, if we score, the worst case scenario is we don't get the two-point conversion, and we're still up by seven. So, I mean, really, really big play there by Parsons to keep us in this, basically. Kickoff is to Nixon. I'm returning it. I'm feeling like we're not going anywhere, but that's just more time to chew off this clock. I think he's going to think I'm sticking with the run game, too. We'll, we'll hit some audibles. Um, and then Watson's open. Watson's got some room. Oh, man. Man. We almost had something big there. I mean, we did get a really big play, but we almost had something even bigger. Watson with a big play to start out the drive, and he's got three guys on the line. That's an easy double team. If I would have ran that better, we could have got more. But seven yards, I'll take that. On first down, we are in a really good position to win this game. The only thing that could screw it up is me, which I have a tendency to do. He's back in dime coverage. He is back in dime coverage, and I just I, that got bottled. I don't know how he's getting away with that in dime coverage, but yeah, that got bottled completely. I'm going to run Valdez Scantling on a, on a zig. And Jones is open. <sighs> he was open. He was open. There's nothing else for me to do on that, um, unfortunately. But we'll see here what we can hit. I'm going to look for Kelsey. We aren't going to get him, but we can get Jones. Jones gets a first down and more. He came in hot on that blitz. I did not, I didn't expect that. That was a, I'm surprised I got that. I'm hoping it's cover three. I think it is, but we'll just hit the underneath or not. <laughs> Fred Warner just threw himself in there. Man. That Fred Warner's got, was that Fred Warner? Yeah, that was Fred Warner. He's got Lurk Artist. We're going to act like we're audibling here so he doesn't sell out for the run, but he does. Who was that? Didn't Did not hold the block at all. That's unfortunate. So now, see, this is the issue that I said we're going to run into is if we get into third and long. Third and fourth and long is, is what's going to screw us over in this game. But we hit Kelsey. Kelsey makes a move. Kelsey runs over a guy. And now we got a decision to make. I think we're not in field goal range. All right. All right, we're going to the RPO. We're going to the RPO. If he sells out to stop the run, I did not mean to lob that. Come on. Rasheed Walker gets a tackle. All right. So we traded interceptions now. I meant to throw that, throw a bullet. I, I, I don't know. I questioned myself a little bit. So we got to we got to make a stop now. And we almost bottle up the first play. I got a little excited trying to go for the strip there that we didn't. Parsons is uh Parsons got to make a play here, make another. See, he wants to hit him bad and I can't let that happen. Hendricks with the pick. He's got room if he can get past. He gets fast sharp. <laughs> what Reggie White with the pancake, and Hendricks is going all the way. Who needs offense when you can score with defense? Now the issue is we need the two-point conversion. The only thing is we cannot give up a pick six. If it's not there, I'm throwing it away. I think we got him. We got him. Dobbs with the catch. We're up 16-7. to seven. We have our challenge wheel completed so far. And we're up by nine. We're up by nine. This is a two-possession game. We just got to keep playing it smart, and we can beat this guy. This guy's got a heck of a team, and we're going to beat him if we can keep playing like this. He's got room. One guy to beat, and Tate knocks him out of bounds. 
glad I pulled him back a little bit. I switched off, but pulled him back enough to to get in there and make the tackle. And now I think that's an issue. Uh, we got to switch. <laughs> we got to switch out of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna send Eric Berry over. Eric Berry's gotta be. We gotta double him because Berry has a QB spy. And if we double picked Dardo Savage, oh my goodness. The wheels have completely fallen off. And he's gone. He's quitting. Maybe? Gone. We complete our challenge. We get to keep Keyshawn Nixon. And we beat this guy with a 95 overall team. Wow. Heck of a game. With that win, that puts us at 3-0. and And all we have to do is win two more games out of the five that we'll play. Hopefully we don't play five, but we got to win two more, and we're in the playoffs. And I did check my stats. I have not won a Super Bowl this season. So this will be our first Super Bowl. And as you can see, 37-26, 16-11, and 16-7. I said our defense was terrible, and all of a sudden our defense has played lights out. Two more wins, and we're in the playoffs. All right, thank you guys again so much for watching. I really enjoy making these. Uh, like I said, I hope they keep getting better. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. I might try to squeeze one more in before I head off to college with the, with the good mic here. Uh, maybe we can go off to college in the playoffs. We'll see. But, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do enjoy making these, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Um, see you guys next time. See you.